This OG Bushwick, and for the people that know me on the other side, Will, same person. We're gonna jump right into it, man. Um, so tell us a little bit about OG, OG Bushwick. First and foremost, I ain't, I ain't never had no problems with nobody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, anybody that know me, love me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, just so, not on no gloating shit. Just on some real shit. Yeah. I'm like man, that dude is whatever, but it wasn't no negative shit. You know what I mean? Like, resourceful. That's what anybody. They got anything to say about him? Like he resourceful. He knows some shit. He knows somebody. He, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I'm one of them. Once upon a time, I was that. I was that guy that uh make a dirty loop make a dirty move look clean if you will. Hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I see you, you know, you got the um networking business going on. Absolutely. Man, um man. what's 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 that about? You know, what's what you what you trying to do with it, where you taking it, and um how did you come with it? You know, what what made you come up with this idea? Well, with with the networking thing, first off, big shout outs to the homie Gaithan. You know what I mean? He a real estate guru. Mm -hmm. He had put me up on something. It was an opportunity that presented itself. He's like, hey man, I think you should do this. Or is this something you wanna look into? I looked into it and I'm like, man, that's what's happening. But then at the same time, I always thought about it, but I didn't I wasn't really on that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know how you think about somebody. You just stick a pen in there, it's in the back of your mind. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But the, the numbers was right. I was like, you know what? I'm going to jump into this. Not knowing how I'm going to do it or none of that. Uh -huh. Like, you know what? Then the universe blessed me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, once I paid for it, the universe blessed me. And then the team that's behind the machine that uh -huh. makes it everything work, even though y'all ain't seen it yet, LMG coming soon, y'all. But anyway, I know wrong with it. But, but the team behind them, the ones, uh, G Money, uh -huh. uh, G Money, John Doe. Uh -huh. It's it's several, but uh -huh. Thacho G, the, Jamie. Oh. It, the team is nice, real nice. Okay. And these, these some, some, the people behind, the, the team, I should say. Man, y'all just the have rules. to see. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can't even put them in, and I ain't, I don't do no nut holding shit, none of that type mm. of shit, I'm just saying. Y'all see, and mm. then you be like, damn. Oh, that was nice. And then if you do your proper research, because I'm one of them type of dudes, I, I do research on whatever it is we talking about doing or whatever, uh -huh. you'll see like, that's what who, that's who he was talking about. When you hear G, like, that's what, it, matter of fact, shout out to G Money Productions, he did this right here. Uh -huh. This is his thing, you know what I mean? Uh, gratitude. Gratitude. Now, however, I can't. Oh no, I'm dropping shit. I can't forget about John Doe Productions. Huh. Y'all see it? Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> he he doing whatever the hell he doing. He around here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> now I want to get into some of these hot topics, man. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Let's do it. We've talked a couple times and um, we've discussed some things. Oh, you know, we, we know you did fad time. You know what I mean? How, how many years you did? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay. And where was you at? USP Atlanta. Okay. And 
in there, when you was, you know, during that time, you ran into some people you met that was connected to some, you know, some well-known names, such as, you know, uh, El Chapo and Larry Hoover, if you will, you know what I mean? Now, yeah, now, we ain't gonna touch too deep into it because I know how that go. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know what I mean? I just wanna, I just wanna ask like, uh, what? Well, hold up. Before you go any further, those actual people, mm -hmm. El Chapo, Larry Hewitt, never met either one of them. Okay. Let's clear that up first. All right. However, I was dealing with people. I, I, well, I'm still actively right now still dealing with people in connection to, can call them right now, mm -hmm. that deal with them people. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For real, yeah. And how did those come? How did that come about? Like, what, so, um, as far as these people, like, how did this come about? Like, and what made them, you know, connect with you? On some real shit. I thought the same shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like what? Yeah. Damn, why are you? I ain't. Well, oh, some real shit though. And that, that's real though too. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Because what I refer to them as, the, them, them high profile guys was they newspaper superstars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no disrespect to them. Yeah. And I told them that to their face. Like, right. Because it was so many that I came across that a lot of a lot of people know. You know what I mean? Right. But at the, at the time, in, in some situations, I was even tripping like, damn, that's you? Because I wasn't, I don't, like I said, I don't do no nut holding shit and yeah. dick riding and, right. and I don't care how much money, if I fucks with you, I fucks with you. Right, right. And, and if I fucks with you, we ride, we riding and rocking like that. Exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and... And so with them people, I had developed them type of relationships with them uh -huh. before I even knew, really knew who they was. Yeah. And that's how I, get, I gained to get those type of relationships because it was all genuine. Because I didn't. So just off you being the person you was. Uh, yeah. Put you in the places with these people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and for the most part, no bullshit. They gravitated to me. I didn't go seeking them because I didn't know. I was cool with them. We chopped it up or whatever. Sit down, show them some shit. Hey, I heard you. Hey, in the joint, they call me black. Black, I know you know this. And Hey, tell me about this. Can you explain this to me? I'm like, man, woo, bop, the woo, woo, woo. And from there, dealing with whatever they was dealing with, our conversations mm -hmm. went on. Our relationships blossomed. And there it was. And then when I really found out who they was, like I said, I'm like, damn, that's you? Yeah. And the, damn. Yeah. I went. Like, how was that treatment, though? Like, like being in there, like, dealing with those type of people? Or, like, how was the treat? Like, did you get any special treatment just for knowing them or being around them? Like, from, from their circles, yeah. From their circle, uh, from their circles, but far as the guards and warden and shit like that, that was all me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Now, when because I had developed relationships with these people like that, mm -hmm. now the people that they in their circles, I gained love from them. The people in their circles, yeah. based off of them. Because they following mm. their lead. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So as far as, as far as like, now you say you met these people, like, what made you, uh, what gave you the confirmation that, okay, these people actually plugged in with these people? Because, you know, everybody can say this and say that. You know, a, a lot of people got stories when they go to the, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, behind the wall. Yeah, so. I get that. Well, for me, it was about where the people I was con connected to. It was about how everybody else, people I don't know, mm -hmm. 
guards included, and the warden, how they treated and looked at and dealt with these people. And, and th then sitting down one on one with these people and they telling me their story about who they are yeah. and what they do and whatever it was, you know what I mean? And so you see what's happening around them too that's that you know they, they gotta be somebody. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So Facts. Like the, yeah. And it's real. Yeah. Cause I mean, it's a lot of guys, it's a lot of people that have been locked up before. But when you in that federal system, yeah. that's a whole nother animal. And you, cause the difference between state and fed for the most part, mm -hmm. It's a lot of differences. Right. First off, first and foremost, let me say that it's a lot of differences. Mm -hmm. But outside of those obvious differences, when you're dealing with with the feds, you're dealing with people from literally all around the world. world right. Versus when you're dealing with the state, you're dealing with people from your common area, wherever yeah. you at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, when you're in the Fed system, you're dealing with people from all around the world, literally. Uh. So it, you would meet people, had you not been in that situation, that you had never met right. in your life. Right. <laughs> you know and what I mean? That, and that's how a lot of your situations came about. But, yeah, for real. Had I not been there, I would have never met them people, man. Right. You know what I mean? I would just being honest, I would like never some of the, did you experience some things in there that's like that just blew you like dang like wow like or something like you saw within that time that you was I got a couple for you. One day it was it was warm outside. Well we in the A, we in that line. Mm -hmm. So it's always warm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It get a little cool, but it don't never get cold like here. Yeah. Mill town, by the way. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? But Milltown, meaning Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. but, but anyway, um, it get cool, but it, it it don't really get cold. It don't get cold like this. Yeah. So it was like in maybe October, November, or something like that. When it should have, in my head, it should have been cold. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because right, right. that's what I'm used to. Yeah. But it was summertime. It was still warm. Everybody wearing shorts and tank tops and whatever. Beaters. Mm -hmm. They call red. And when it's hot outside, for the most part, everybody go outside. You got a, a couple scragglers that sit around. And I'm like, man, I ain't going out there. I'm finna. And you got a, a 10 minute move. Yeah. You got 10 minutes to get from where you, where you at to where you going. No, is it 10 minutes, 5 minutes? I forgot. But it's like 10 minutes. I think it's 10, yeah, it's 10 minute move. Yeah. You got 10 minutes to get from here to there. Yeah. Wherever you go, wherever you want to be at. After that point, should nobody move, be moving on the whole damn compound. And if you moving after that 10 minutes, you in violation. And they finna deal with you accordingly. Cause really, like, you breaking the law type shit. Yeah. Cause ain't nobody supposed to be moving. Only by only people are supposed to be moving after that ten minutes is the guards or whatever. But anyway, we go to rec. That particular day, I didn't go cause I was I stayed back. I'm in the I'm in my cell reading books, doing what I do. I'm pre I'm preparing. But when I get released, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't got time to be all that other shit. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't even about to come home yet. You know what I mean? This is this may be about four, four, five years into into my bit. So I still got a little stretch to go. I still got a couple calendars to go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But anyway, I stay back. And when we came in, we came in the building, the deuces went off. Deuces meaning, it's, deuces meaning it's like alarm. And it's not a, 
everybody hear along. It's an alarm that only the guards can hear on their walkie-talkies. Yeah. And, and when the deuces go off, they know wherever the situation is at based off their walkie-talkie. Because mm. the deuces go, when the deuces go off, all the guards go into that spot. And once the deuces go off, so like a spotter type of thing. Like there you a, go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So come in, everybody come in. Now you you figure it's about literally two thousand people coming in to the joint at one time. Mm -hmm. All coming off the rec yard, gym where library, the the uh, education center, wherever they coming from. Yeah. It's the last count. It's the last Wreck y'all, because after this, ain't no more movement for the rest of the night. You know mm. what I mean? So, we come in. Everybody's still hyped up, talking loud, and doing what they do. You hear the, you hear the deuces go off. As soon as the deuces go off, whatever guard around you gonna holler that. Mm. Lay down or what, whatever. Get to yourselves. Lock, lock down, whatever, right? So... I lived on the second tier. So they called the deuces. I'm on the second tier. I'm already there though. Mm. Cause I ain't go out that day. You hear? But I was downstairs, but I'm on, I live on the second tier. I locked down. Well, as soon as you hear a guard hard holler that shit, you know the deuces went off. Yeah. Uh, uh oh, something happened. Then you hear that everybody going to their cells and what the fuck going on? Look, and the guards get to talking crazy because they they in mode on locking your door, getting you where you're supposed to be at, so to clear this shit out, right. so they can see or go to where they need to get, be at. Right. You know what I mean? But anyway, the guards go. The guards go, they're trying to lock us down, and I come up my stairs. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm on the right side of the unit. Mm -hmm. On that side of the unit, you know, it's open space. You got to walk all the way around to, mm -hmm. to get over there or go up the stairs from the, from the hallway to get up there. Yeah. Yeah. The guard, all the guards running on on my unit, and I keep hearing a, a metal ticking sound. Like it sound like metal, team, team, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? And the deuce is gone. I was going to my cell anyway because they called lockdown. Yeah. I'm looking around, and I see, and I see all the guards running on the unit, and. On the other side of the tier, over there, I walk down by the showers. All I see is the bottom of, of a man's feet. He got his shoes on, but I see the bottom of he laying down, and I see a guy standing, sitting on his chest. And all you see is his arm coming down. Right? Yeah. That's all you see. And every time he... And then it clicked to me every time his arm come down, you hear ting, ting, ting. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Because I'm still baffled. Like, yeah. what the fuck is that? I see dude getting the shit beat out of him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, but um, but no, it's to me. When I really, when I really captured what, what, what was going on, the man had a, in there, was called a sword about this long. He was sitting on the man's chest, stabbing him. Whoa. And it was going all the way through him and hitting the concrete floor. That's what I was hearing. Ding! Ding! Oh. I'm like, oh. And, that, and when I seen that shit, I'm like, oh, uh, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> that man over dead as a motherfucker, man. He just, wow, he was dead already. Come on, man. That man is. is you he, still going after he died? You you hearing 
you hear it just tinging. And when they sh when the guards walk past with it, it's about this long. And I'm thinking like, that was, that's what that man was hitting him with because he was sitting on his chest. Yeah. And it's going all the way through, hitting the motherfucking concrete. I don't know what he did, and I don't even want to know. I ain't got no parts in that shit. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, to answer your question, yeah, that shit was crazy. You, you, you had guards that was selling ass, and all, man, it was all kind of shit going on. Uh, but yeah, I, yeah, I seen some crazy shit. I will say, shout outs to the homies behind them walls, the creative as hell. Those are some of the, those brothers are some of the most innovative, mm. uh, creative dudes that make something work. I learned so, so That's much. A lot of talent behind the walls, man. Talent, survival skill. I'm not just living survival shit. I'm talking about can make fire out of battery and and a piece yeah. of aluminum foil. I've seen a lot of uh, desert island. Survival type shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Deserted as a lot. Island survival type shit. Yeah, I've seen that. And some of that shit I remember. Like, man, these do. And there's a lot of good brothers that's behind the walls and shouldn't be. Now, I'm not, I'm not taking away from whatever they may have done. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And however anybody feel about that. But all I am saying is, on a flip side, when you actually sit down and talk to and know these people, I'm like, man, a lot of them guys could be whatever they want if they had the proper motivation or support system behind them. Right. Real shit. I swear. Another thing I really want to touch on too is, uh, I know you're in the credit the credit game, and there's a lot of stuff out there that's coming out now about the credit game that people been missing out on, and not you know well they ain't really well they've been missing out on it, but it's been hidden from them too. You know it's been like behind the door type of behind closed door secret. Yeah. You know, Secret society type yeah, shit. Yeah, that's, that's coming out now. So, what 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 game can you give them on that? What you dealing with the credit? You know what I mean? And, you know. Okay, when it comes to that, first first thing, shout out to AUIG. That's mm -hmm. the name of the company. Uh, AUIG Consulting. Mm -hmm. Member dot AUIG Consulting dot com. Yeah, look it up. It's there. Oh, matter of fact. Better Business Bureau accredited with an A plus, a triple A plus rating. Yeah. We get you together if you need that. Business and personal. Um, one of the things about, I'm going to definitely drop some jewels for you for that one, but one of the main things about the credit thing is you can't listen to everybody. That that's first and foremost. Myself included. However, I'm stamping whatever I say. You can go look it up, mm. yeah. <laughs> and it's there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's the difference between me and the others. You know what I mean? But I ain't shitting on nobody. I'm just saying. I, I'm not gonna let nothing roll off this tongue if it ain't official. If I don't know, I just tell you that. But one of the main things about dealing with the credit, personal and business, is make sure you have your things in order. But a, a lot of people don't know what to have in order. I, I get that. That's what I'm here for. Mm. <laughs> but no, all bullshit aside, though. Um, when it comes to credit, there's a lot of there's a lot of influencers, if you will, mm -hmm. that'll give you part of 
or mis or misleading information. And I got a real issue with that. Because if you're going to tell somebody a story, tell them the whole story. Mm -hmm. Don't just tell them the, the good parts. Mm -hmm. Tell them everything that, that come along with that. You know what I mean? But outside of that, we'll we get to that later. But number one, on the personal side, first thing you want to do is keep, first and foremost, get your credit report and see where you at. And what I mean by where you at, see all the bills that you owe, especially collections. We specialize in collections. I love collections. Because those are the ones that carry most points in, in getting removed. Mm -hmm. Two, there's, there's certain things that, there's certain cars with the most fucked up credit that you can get right now that a boost will score. And I am not hating and I'm not being on no bullshit, but I'm not gonna promote promote them like that. Cause they ain't paying me for that shit. Mm -hmm. But I will say, I will give you this one though. Get you get you a uh So y'all know I ain't bullshit. I'm finna look it up for you right now. As soon as I see it, I know it. Cause I just sent it to somebody else. Uh, get you a, a, on a personal note, get you an extra card. I said I wasn't gonna promote nobody else's shit, but <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Cause I love my people, man. Handle your business, man. Get, get you an extra card. It's a debit card, but every time you use that card on your credit report, it reports as a credit card. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And your score uh, definitely be rising. Mm. And then... Is there any, like, tricks that you... Absolutely. Might know about that people might be not, you know what I'm saying, caught up on? I told you from the beginning, I'm that dude that make a dirty move look clean. Yeah. I, I know the tricks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> but A gym, I'm going to say, at least one gym they can. It's, it's all legit, though. Now, yeah. Because I know how it goes. You know, you in it, you know, you, you do it. So I don't want you, you know, I know you don't want to give out your. Go ahead. But the thing is. Good. It's What's something on? that they can really take and go, you know, because we, we, we're here to help too, you know what I'm saying, so. Absolutely. So, what I advise everybody to do, first and foremost, get your real credit report. Get your credit report. Don't, and please, please, for the life of me, do not.